Guessing they film all their advertisements here. You know, if this whole place came crashing down, it'll make the colony a better place. a lot of Rizzo's.
do you think you are? What was that? Boss, we gotta move. Dr. Blossom was a horrible person, but she was going to cooperate with you. Somebody wanted to keep her quiet. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. But recently, they were still alive. What do you think happened? Didn't she say something about a publicity stunt? Is this whole thing some sort of setup? comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. It's not gonna... Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay. This is... Whew. This is Dr. Blossom. Eridanium Jagathius Slug Research Report 1. Subject, a bunch of slugs. Ugh. These things may well be Rizzo's ticket to the top of the board. But at the end of the day, they still look like my brother would if he ever stopped wearing that damn toupee. Initially found these little bastards suckling on the hairy undersides of a teacup canid. Much like my brother, who works for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. The backstabber. Suffice it to say that these things are parasites. The canid didn't seem to mind, but it's almost as stupid as my research staff. Good stuff. Oh, whoops. Got some spectrum on the dissection subject. That's fine. Yeah, I think I see a couple sacks in the worm. Might secrete enzymes or poison or something. We'll figure it out later. Starting to see doubles, so I'm going to switch to working on the Gatling. Almost got the spectrum lock done.
We gotta hunt this killer down, boss. They're not gonna stop until we do. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here, mere moments earlier in the timeline. Unscheduled pollinization cycle is about to commence. Please evacuate the orchards at this time. Releasing the wasp ketos for pollinization. Cycle is now in progress. I don't really know what a wasp keto is, but I think we're about to get educated in a hurry.
timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This console is 95% non-functional. Remaining 5% functionality stems from display reading, console non-functional. Cause of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. Uh, that's probably not wise, Captain. You don't know... Oh, never mind. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners number 35, number 49 number 240, number 322, number 314, and many, many, many others. Someone needs to get to hive control to shut down the swarms. Well, kiddo, we're safe from wasp kiddos as long as we keep the doors closed. But someone ought to deactivate the cycle soon.
Incoming. Mysterious adversary. It's gonna take a lot more than a swarm of horrible insects to stop us. Crew is comprised of 99% plastic, 0.5% steel, and 0.5% carbonated sugary beverage. Trace amounts of kerosene, alcohol, hydrazine, and liquid hydrogen also detected. What have we found? Then we've got a new lead, as it were. Though admittedly, a flimsy one.
done. Back again, eh? I knew you couldn't resist my charms for long. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which case, I probably won't forget a second time. Well, maybe. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine diagnostics. Look, I know what you're thinking. But I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. Unfortunately, our daily behavior is filled with such inanity the truest alibis often sound the weakest. Hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping track of all your belongings. Product experimentation without an R&D license is even more severe than damage to company property. Wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm making black market mixed drinks. Why should weed killer affect saplings? Weed killer. It's in the name. It should kill only weeds. That really seems like it's more on product design than on me. Well, yes. The orchards are becoming overrun with pests. Usually, we give workers handguns and tell them to go to town, which results in many injured workers and a few dead sprats. Our exterminator Automax only kill mosquitoes, and even then, only if an exec somehow ended up in the orchards during a pollinization cycle. So I decided to do some reprogramming. The reprogramming was easy until I locked myself out of the terminal. Then, when I was running away from the bots, I dropped the terminal access card somewhere in the orchards. In my defense, mechanicals get loose and run rampant pretty often on their own. It's a common workplace hazard. Laws alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards, but with all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. Wow, thank you so, so much. You do this for me, and I'll make sure to do whatever I can to make things better. That was real generous of you.
You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? All right, let's hear the details. A drink? I ain't ever heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Ha! Knew Slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. So what were the fine details of the sabotage anyhow? Were slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspquitos? Reckon they've got something in common with the waspquitos then. Probably why slug just set the mechanicals to attack everything. Eventually, they'd kill our pollenizers. In your delusional fantasy, the Waspquitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. Yes, it's possible to manually start and end cycles in Hive Control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non-Rizzo's personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? You picked a hell of a time to lose your tongue over there, friend. I guess I can't force you to tell me anything. But the peace of mind... Would have been worth much to me. You heard the guy. Give him a piece of your mind. Anna Summers, the intern, is the one behind all the mishaps that you sent us to investigate. Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But now that I think about it, that's why she'd be a perfect saboteur. I'll deal with her later. Right now, we of the Orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal. But at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is... agitating. Hmm. Never liked paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, slug boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. Even if I were inclined to believe you, 
That's some damn severe incompetence you're talking about. I still wouldn't want someone like that working the orchards. What the hell are you proposing? Let her burn the orchards down while I stand behind her and applaud? We ain't got nothing to exchange. She wants to help, does she? You know what? I'll call your bluff. She can keep at it with close supervision, but if she screws up even once, she's out. Use your pay, with a little extra for getting to the bottom of things. It's gonna be real interesting in the orchards for the foreseeable future. Thanks, I guess. I've already told you six times, and I'll tell you six more. I don't want a fucking tour! You can badger me all you want. I don't care if I'm from Forest Mills. I'm here as an individual, and I have just as much right to be here as any other visitor. You're welcome to bring a lawyer if you really want to try to force me out, but I can guarantee you that I will bury them. Don't play dumb with me! How many of you fools have I spoken to by this point? Seven? Seventeen? I... Wait a moment. You have all your teeth. You're not soaked in filth, and you don't look quite as slack-jawed as the regular Rizzo's staff. Are you not with Rizzo's? Hmm. My mistake. I'd ask what your intention was for coming here in that case, but I imagine you're not here for the Spectrum original either. Regardless, please inform me if you'd be interested in a job. I've spent enough time out here that I'm starting to itch. I do not enjoy itching. I'm sure you have questions. I do indeed. Specifically, I'm their general counsel. Forest Mills, if you somehow don't know, owns Tile, Wentworth, Dock Rocket, and 24-7 Furniture. Were something of a big deal. I did. You see, Rizzo's has been advertising a contest in the Puzzle Hedges. Whoever gets to the center first gets a bottle of the first Spectrum ever made. The Spectrum Original. My interest, however, lies with the associated promise. The chance to attend the Spectrum Brown unveiling and meet Halcyon Helen. Indeed, you are a savvy one. Rizzo's can no longer make good on their promise, which means this entire contest is one big fraud case. 
All I need is a single piece of evidence. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzles for all they're worth. That's where you come in. I don't know if you know this, but Rizzo's is on the outs. They're losing power and losing money. This was no doubt a desperate bid to regain some lost clout. That, or their marketing team, is particularly spiteful. You know the saying, I'm sure. Why work for a promotion when sabotage takes half the time and a quarter of the effort? Technically, I sue not on behalf of Forest Mills, but for my own benefit. In arbitration, it might be difficult to argue that this contest is designed to slight Forest Mills. However, as it so happens, if my lawsuit takes a chunk out of their savings, then I can collect while also damaging their capital. It's a mutual win. I make millions, Rizzo's falls further from the board's good graces, and Forest Mill's products look that much more valuable compared to Rizzo's trash. Navigating the maze is normally no easy task. Rizzo's has no interest in giving their property, however old, away for free. Getting lost and running into dead ends? We've had lots of practice. I'm glad you're feeling confident, but this maze is deadly by design. And if that weren't enough, Zimmerman and Navarre don't want anyone sneaking away with their prize. The place is mined and rife with murderous mechanicals. Two buffoons, but persistent buffoons. There's that woman from Glacial Age who has perhaps never had an original idea in her life and hopes to pass the original off as her own. Then there's Navarre, who is strange. I suggested I give her the original after my lawsuit if we work together, but she wouldn't hear of it. It must be hers alone, it seems. Excellent. I look forward to finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well.